entire plot for iCarly, but whatever. And welcome back, everybody. I don't can't believe you all just sent him your dirty underwear. How could y'all? Dirty That's underwear. That's why. Oh, Charlie, you're you're. You and your words of nonsense are making me want to kill this innocent parasaur. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. It's not dead. Now it's dead. Why is there a darkness growing in the horizon? What do you mean, a darkness growing on the horizon? That's the just the sun. Setting? No. Reflect reflecting off the ocean. Okay. Parasaurs roasting on an open fire. Oh yeah. No no yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll let I'll let that be. Charlie <laughs> I was gonna... acting like a retard. Endangering our bird by punching recklessly. Don't get near that fucking tapajara. Charlie, I'm serious. You can damage the bird. Just, Charlie, put away that pick, for God's sakes. If you're going to do it, just drag the body somewhere else to hit it. Yeah, see? By the way, imagine this. This is like a full friggin' quarter horse. And I just casually drug it across the ground. Yes. I mean, a real one would weigh more than an elephant. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go find an animal that drops some prime meat, and the tapajara should be ready to tame very soon. Hmm. So, just give me a shout if you see anything coming close. And there's fog. I thought with the growing darkness I was. Well, probably a cool fog pouring in from the east. Um, yeah, that'd be east. Where I saw it. You find any? Yep. Good. I've tamed it. There we go. Take the narcotics out of it. You're enjoying the fire. Mm -hmm. You just took everything out the fire. Yeah, I and just you took picked fire it up. Too. What yeah, the I took fire too. I was gonna leave it there. Get on the bird. Okay, Charlie. This is. Uh, come on. Into the sky, Charlie Zard, into the sky. Now this one you can raise the stamina of and do whatever you'd like with it. And I'd especially recommend weight, because it's going to be holding two of us. Okay. Does it currently have any levels? Well, don't worry. When it does get a level up, we'll know. So, we're going to be taking this one back home. And what we're going to be using it for is to tame one of the most difficult flying creatures to tame in the game. Which is? The, the Quetzal. Oh, it is a bird thing. that never lands. Oh. You can only find it high in the sky. And therefore, in order to tame it, you have to knock it out in the sky which requires being able to fire from the air. Something that most normal tames are unable to do. 
Now, that Tapajara does have some interesting abilities. Like, losing its shit when I just land it? Actually, no. It did not lose its shit. It did something useful. What is it trying to do? Here, approach the edge of a rock wall. I have no control. Okay, now I've got some. Uh, here, approach this rock wall right here. On foot? I'll fly. I'll fly. Now, land. You're gripped onto the wall now. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what happened. I just, it, it seemed like it just lost its shit. Also, it can move from side to side like a helicopter. Try some strafing. Hmm. All right. Yeah, see, this is what we would refer to as an attack helicopter. Hey, look, a Hydra. I'm going to fly hey. higher. Yeah, that would be a wise idea. Yeah, we're heading back to base, and once we go back to base... Where'd you go? Uh, accidentally started heading south instead of west. Oh, I panicked because I saw Tapajara on the ground down there, and I thought, oh my god. Yes, I just landed in the middle of nowhere. I think I'm near the giant rock where we... Either, either near the gorge where we tamed the wrecks, or near the giant rock where we got metal. Okay, you found me. Yeah. Yeah. This Continuing outfit, on. This outfit um has a has a collision mesh with um my map. Yeah, well guess what? What? It'll keep you from being too hot while we're out here in the tropics. I think this is crystal actually. This is crystal and metal. This is a crystal and metal spawn. Oh, okay, so I'm not crazy. I knew we, I thought we had gotten metal from here. Yeah, this is one of the few mountains that aren't ridiculously hard to get to from the coast. And, yeah. So, as I was saying, our next target is going to be a Quetzal. Okay. Now, in order to capture the Quetzal, one of us will need to have multiple crossbows and all of the arrows that we have, which it'll probably take a lot. And the other will need to be in charge of keeping pace with the animal. We have to keep on him and continuously fire arrows into his head and or body as we can until finally his torpor reaches maximum and he is knocked unconscious. At which point he will fall to the ground, helpless to anything that may be waiting below. It is our job to make sure that there is nothing down there that will threaten him and keep him safe until we can tame him. Once we have him, on the ground and unconscious and safe, we will have made a floating fortress. Hmm. Because you can build on the back of a Quetzal Coatless. Alright. You get him? Yes. <laughs> I love how you didn't say anything, you just started attacking him. Well, obviously when you land three steps away from a snake, it's not exactly a good idea, Charlie. I mean, you could have let me know and I would have taken off and left. Tried Are to make a little on stam? I was relatively low, yeah. I wasn't... Dire low. So, your Tapajara is actually at base speed faster than me. Why'd you stop again? Because <sighs> it's getting a little low. There, that will help a lot. 
crapping all mm. over the floor. Yes, that will also help a lot. Can I upgrade their speed? Do no. Flyers... No? Okay. I, I, flyers I... used to be able to have their speed upgraded and then the arc devs nerfed them. Yeah, I, I remember there was something about flyers you couldn't upgrade. Yeah. Upgraded his stamina so I could go a lot longer. Oh, that's a pretty dinosaur down there. Let me see. Shield horn, I think? No. I don't know what he is. He's purple. Yeah, it's a shield horn. Yeah. Okay. I've seen prettier, though. Oh, fuck you. Actually, way prettier. I'm not kidding. So, you know what's nice about doing the whole 15-minute thing? What? I don't have to cut it. I don't have to go and edit and cut it. But then where's the torturous fun that I get to have while bugging you while you edit? I don't know. You still do it. You just do it live now. Like always. Oh, okay. Uh, are you shooting shit at me? Yeah, just shot a frag grenade at you, bitch pudding. Mm. I guess this is red? Yeah, this is red obelisk. We live here. Okay, just making sure. You're really starting to doubt yourself here, Charlie. I mean, I know it's been a while since you've played, but... No, I've got all the stupid special effects on. And, like, I got solar flares coming off of it and all that shit, and... Charlie, why are you going poison. straight up to the obelisk? Because I haven't passed our house yet. Did you just cling to the side of my cut? You did. <laughs> I was so hoping that would work. Oh, that was am this is amazing. I love this. Yeah, it's oh. very fun to cling to the side of things, ain't it? Oh, I love that. I, I just want to leave him there. I just want to well, leave him cling to the side of the of a wall well, somewhere. Well, the thing is, you really don't because it makes it very hard to get onto it. That works. Nope, that did not work. It kicked me. It kicked him off the wall when I got off. Okay then. So we have us a Tapajara, which is now our air taxi for the moment. So now we need to start gearing up to capture one of the most difficult flyers, the Quetzal. We can't bola this thing to take it to the ground, so we either gotta knock it out in the air or hope it somehow gets stuck on some mountain. What are you doing? Wondering why this dinosaur isn't named. Oh, how interesting. I was wondering something similar. I was wondering why you didn't have a arrow in your head. Because you haven't stuck it there hard enough. You think? Now you have. I will die soon. Wow. Did, did I just pass out on my knees? Yes, you did. You just passed out on your knees. You know what this is going to cause. Uh, no. Don't feed yeah. me to the wrecks. No, no, no. Not you remember old. your old friend. If you do it quick enough, I won't die. <laughs> I lived. And, nope, never mind. I thought it teleported me back up there for a second. No. It was just a glitch. Okay, so I definitely need to boost the weight of this son of a bitch. Yeah, probably. Let me go put my um, put some of this stuff I have in my inventory up. <sighs> oh God! Why there's so many megalodons near our obelisk? And he sees me. Why are you in the water? Because I wanted to see what was in there. Well, that's a terrible idea. I kind of want to go play with a jellyfish. Charlie, that's an even worse idea. But they're made but of jelly. Just... 
No, they aren't made of jelly. Are you telling me I cannot make a jellyfish jelly sandwich? No, you can't. As a matter of fact, they're made of cytokines, a are stinging you, cell. Are, are, are you are you telling me that SpongeBob lied to me all these yes, years? Yes, SpongeBob always lies. <laughs> when did you fix the stone? What? When did you fix the stone foundation? In the ten seconds it took you to start repairing your metal. I didn't even notice. Well, <laughs> yeah, it took me that little effort. We had the resources setting around the base, for God's sakes. Okay, so let's take a look and see how much a Quetzal saddle will cost. Uh, I can already tell you we're probably not going to be able to afford it. A you, base Quetzal saddle costs 100 cementing paste. How do you spell what that? Up? Hold on, Charlie. Uh, do me a favor, go to the... Never mind, I'll get it. You, you won't be able to do it, right? I don't even know how to spell Quetzal right. Illiteracy is a problem in our nation, Charlie. Yes, it is. And you are part of the problem. Well, I, how? We're, spell, we're trying to spell words that I've literally probably never heard of anywhere else in my life. Yes, well, this is why I'm the educated man of the two of us. Let me see here. Quet saddle. It requires 100 cementing paste, 500 fiber, 750 hide, and 85 silica pearls. Right now, we have a decided absence of silica pearls. All right. Yeah. Let me take a look around, see if I can locate us some. Ah, we have 73 silica pearls in the uh, S plus crafting station. Charlie, would you go out and collect some fiber for us? Fiber? Yeah, I yeah. can. Yeah. Yeah, go find us some fiber. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to go see if I can source... What's uh, the what's the tool to get fiber better? Sickle. Okay. Couldn't remember if, if it was that or not. Yeah, I'm going to go source us some silica pearls. Where do you get them from? Uh, you can usually get them on the seafloor from deposits. But there's some up north that I'll be able to get to much more easy in small amounts. You can also get them from killing trilobites. See, I was trying to kill trilobites when I died earlier. Yeah. Well, it's not really worth the effort, though. All right. Uh, in the um, smithy? Yeah, I'd put that fiber in the smithy. All right, well, 244... Okay, you need more than that, Charlie. Okay. We need 500 and we had 300 and something. These are some big time saddles we're working with. And these are only the base saddles. They, they aren't even the advanced ascendant versions or master crafts. The ones that w you need for late game content. Ow. Bad scorpion. Good scorpion. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, okay. That's enough silica pearls. Blasting at full speed back towards Red Obelisk. Oh, yeah. I think I hear a monkey. Is it a small? <laughs> Sound? I, heard, I just heard one of them, yeah. Hey, well, there's a monkey! Hold on, hold on. If you want him, here's what you gotta do. You gotta go get you some mezzo berries. That's the purple ones that look like blueberries that are purple. And you gotta sneak up behind him while he's not looking. And you basically gotta put the mezzo berries in your last item slot. Yep. And hit E on him. I did. You did all that? Yep, I just did that. Oh, okay. Well, then don't let him run away from you. Don't spook him. And wait until he, um... He's tamed. Though, you ought to be careful. The monkeys usually spawn in places that are very dangerous. He's actually next to our home. Yeah, that would be the place. Can I pick him up? Uh, once you tame him, yes. Good. Alright, and until then, everybody, see you next episode. Bye.